Okay, so the first way we want to talk about here with getting data from Excel or a text file into um, SQL Server is the import export wizard. So that's built into Management Studio. Uh, or Microsoft's done a great job of getting um, tools in your hands that really help out. And in this case, um, it's under the tasks and the import data. So let's take a look. I am over here uh, in Management Studio. And the first thing I want to do is I need a database to do all this stuff in. So let me create a database. I just right click and say new database. I will call this, uh, let's see, I'll call this uh, Excel import um, training. And I'll hit OK. And I have a new database, Excel import training. So that's the first step. I've got a database here to, to put the table in. And now what I also have is I have a couple of files here. I have a products uh, file, which is a tab delimited file. It has, uh, I'm sorry, not tab, uh, pipe delimited, delimited. It's a vertical line there. So all the columns are delimited by that vertical line. And uh, it also has uh, the first row has the column labels on it. So the first thing I want to do is just let's fire up and get that into our database. So I will go back into Management Studio and I will right click on the um, actual database I want to import into. I'll go to Tasks and I'll say Import Data. So now this brings us into the um, SQL Server Import and Export Wizard. So this is where we'll do all of our work. Um, this first screen is just an introduction screen. So I'll go Next. Data Source. Where am I getting the data from? Well, I want to get it from that text file that we, we saw just a minute ago. It's called the flat file source. So I click on that and it's going to give me some different screen look here. I'll hit browse and I'll go into the demo and get that products text file. So now I've got that and it wants to know is there a um, it wants to know if we need to skip any rows. Um, we won't, don't want to skip any rows, and that's because we have this checked here, column names in the first data row. That tells us, or that tells it to skip the first row. And if we want to skip any more rows, we do it here. And so at this point, let's go to next. And so now it tells us all about the columns. Um, it knows that it was a, a vertical bar or a pipe um, delimited. So let's go to next. Now, what we want to do is we wanted to make sure we're connected to the destination. So that's my server. I'm logging in as with Windows authentication and I'm going to that database, Excel import training. So we'll hit next. And now it wants to take that products and since it knows the name of the file of products, it made a table name, products. And we can preview it. It looks pretty good to me. Go next. And it says run immediately. We're not gonna save an SSIS package. We're just gonna run it gives us a little um, summary of what's it going what it's going to do hit finish and we can watch it go through here 560 rows were transferred well let's go take a look so if I look in here the products table is now there and so I'll just say select star from products run that oh sorry I'm not in the right database here let me switch the database context to Excel import training execute that again we've got 560 rows so we just brought data in from a text file well what I want to do really is get it from an Excel file so let's go ahead and let's let's get rid of rid of delete from products Make sure our table's empty. And let's go through the import export wizard one more time here. So I'm gonna go back into the Excel import training, right click, task, and I will import data. Now I go next, data source. This time I'm gonna get it from Excel. And I will go Excel path. It's sitting in the same folder, products XLS X. So if it's XLSX, that means it's a newer file, a newer Excel file. So here you see it picked Microsoft Excel 2007. The first row still has the column names, so we'll go next. 
we're going to stick it in the same database next copy data from one or more tables or views next and there's three sheets in this in this thing and so which one do we want and so um, we can just pick one and then hit preview and that's the one we want okay so what if we pick the other one preview there's no data in it right um, and and also notice that it tries to name the table the same as the sheet name and so that's at the bottom of your Excel file where you, you, if you had a different name for that sheet it would name it that well I'm going to call this products from Excel here preview that okay so let's go ahead and go next and then let's run immediately finish and there we go 560 rows again we'll close that and if we come over here and refresh our tables you can see we have products from Excel so let's go ahead and do that let's let's take a quick look at the top 1000 rows and there we go so we have data so we just brought some data in from Excel and we brought data in from a text file using the import export wizard and so the next video we will use a different tool